charge, the Prairie RCMP responded to a report of a stolen vehicle entering our detachment area. Uh, initial reports indicated that there were multiple firearms uh, inside the vehicle. The vehicle was brought to a stop at Panko's Food Store here in Portage La Prairie, where two females were brought into custody. One male fled on foot, believed to be carrying a long-barreled firearm. Portage La Prairie RCMP, along with neighboring detachments, emergency response team, uh, police dog services, are presently searching for the male and are ask all residents uh, in the area remain inside their home and call in any suspicious activity through 911. At the moment, the only school that remains in lockdown is Fort Lorraine School, which is close to the incident where the incident took place. Uh, we are closing that school, keeping the children safe uh, for the time being, and we'll update uh, staff, students, and uh, parents when either the suspect is brought into custody or the risk to public safety has reached a, an acceptable level where we would be able to allow them to leave. Uh, any and all updates will, uh, will come forward as we receive more information and we would ask that everyone uh, keep watching for, through local media sources uh, and through uh, Twitter and social media as well. Uh, the stolen vehicle uh, was a, a private vehicle, um, it was a, an automobile. Uh, I believe it was a, a, a Buick Lucerne um, and uh, it was stolen out of the Headingley area. We've received some conflicting descriptions of the suspect at the moment. Uh, he's just simply described as a male suspect. Uh, he was seen carrying a long-barreled firearm uh, and uh, heading in a northeast direction away from Panko's food store. Uh, that's where he was found. We do believe that he is still in the area. Our officers were very quick to respond and very quick to set up a perimeter in the area, uh, which is, uh, of course, for public safety. We want to try and make sure that this person doesn't have the ability to leave. Um, with the uh, information that we received, as it was an armed robbery, uh, as well as the potential for firearms being inside the vehicle, the risk to public safety and police safety uh, is very high. And so we respond uh, with as much uh, safety with that, that safety in mind. The suspect remains unidentified at this time. Um, we hope to update everybody here as, as uh, time progresses. Uh, we would just simply ask that people use some good common sense if they are traveling outside of their home, but remaining inside with the doors and windows locked is best for their safety. Of course, uh, calling 911 for any suspicious things. In addition to the perimeter that we set up in the area close to where uh, the vehicle was stopped, uh, we're also taking steps and measures to ensure that uh, any other vehicle that might have been stolen in an attempt to flee is checked. Uh, so vehicles leaving Portage and Prairie at this time are being uh, checked for registered owners and licensed drivers inside just in a, in a further attempt to catch this person. Certainly the information that uh, came to Portage and Prairie officers that the vehicle was entering their area as a result of being stolen. Um, our officers were very quick to respond and one officer did come across the vehicle uh, at which point it was, uh, it was stopped. There was a collision in that incident. Uh, of course uh, the fact that there was an armed robbery as well as potential firearms involved there. We want to stop that car as quickly as possible and as safe as possible if we can without risk to anybody. So we do have two females in custody. Uh, they are both known to police. Uh, we are uh, searching other avenues to determine uh, their relation to the male suspect. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to narrow down our search if uh, the are large. Uh, the primary focus for the search at this time is in the area north of Saskatchewan Avenue, uh, leading all the way to the, uh, the railway tracks and beyond. Um, and then between the area of 20th Street, uh, south, sorry, northwest, and uh, 13th Street, northwest.